Hey everybody, I am doing a review on Mika's pocket holsters today. Why a good pocket holster is essential if you're going to pocket carry. Mika's pocket holsters, he was uh, a cop, mostly LAPD, for 33 years. He's been making these holsters by hand himself for 37 years. I've talked to Robert Mika a couple times on the phone, once about like four years ago, and uh, didn't end up getting one and recently i just got these and so go to mika's pocket holsters.com m-i-k-a-s so guys i'm impressed and i'll tell you why i'm impressed because they're made really really nice and there's certain things about it uh, they look pretty good it stays open that's very important and it has a good material here. Most leather um, holsters in general are going to get moisture and retain moisture and cause damage to your firearms, especially if you leave it in there overnight and don't take it out of the holster um, when you get home. Now, that's particularly important if you have something worth some money. My friend, I'm still evaluating my friend's revolvers, my older friend revolvers. Um, these will be in a huge... Um, video on his incredible collection if you have something rare like this colt detective special i have a full review on this baby look at that shine so please check out the full review on that so it's particularly important if you have something like that or this pretty rare smith and wesson model 12 have a full review on that I have a video on painting the front sight that probably already came out you see that the front sights have been painted now so i can further evaluate these old reliable six shooters and we're going to do a head-to-head -head video as well but anyway guys what's important is that it's not going to hold the moisture and let the moisture get to the firearm. Whatever this is, this is different than what's there. So that's important in a pocket holster. What else is important in a pocket holster is that it's easy to retrieve right now when you need it, when two muggers are, are in your face. That's what's important with a pocket holster. So it's open, it's very quick. In fact, if you needed to at the range or whatever, you kind of just... Let it fall in your pocket. I tried these in jeans. I tried them in slacks. My slacks are a little tight on me. I tried them in um, some kind of parachute material, um, thin security guard or EMT pants that I have. And you just throw it right back in. It conceals well from the outside. Um, some of my pants, my, my slacks, you got a little too much handle coming out, but that's me and the way I'm built. Uh, a pistol wouldn't have that issue. But, guys, having that quick draw is utterly important, okay? And unlike most pocket holsters, two major things. Not only can I just straight draw it instead of having to rock on the back of my pocket to make friction and then pull, this has never come out Never once has it come out, even just straight pulling, uh, never once has it come out of the pocket. You don't need to rock it back. As I said, guys, sometimes I practice from all kinds of weird angles drawing because usually this is, uh, I pocket carry left offside from pocket, so it is a backup for my offhand. That way I have a deadly force tool available to both hands if one's being disarmed, fighting, CQB, uh, malfunction, whatever. Or I got shot in the arm, which happens all the way, all the time in real shootings and force on um, force training. But also that it's there in a uh, non-permissive work environment. Okay. So not only it doesn't come out with the holster, other pocket holsters, guys, if you don't get your draw perfect, you're here and you're trying to shoot the bad guy and your finger, I mean, you're not going to notice guys. And your finger goes there in a deadly force encounter I've had it happen at the range when you're doing fast, realistic type stuff, it happens. And now you got a dead gun and you have to fling the holster off and hopefully you can get to work before you're dead. Okay? That's huge. The fact that you don't have to rock it back to pull it like on your jeans pocket is also 
very, very huge. The fact that it's quick and it's also able, it doesn't collapse on you for reholster, that's huge. The fact that you're not going to ruin the finish of a rare old revolver or whatever is huge. So for that reasons, I cannot, um, and it's only $32 compared to like mass produced cheap stuff. That's 25, 26, $27, $32 for hand stitched. And he even signs it on the inside. I'm sure he did with mine and stuff. That's just awesome for really a one of a kind. Um, so I think I pretty much covered it. Let's see how much time. Let's talk about reasons to pocket carry. So guys, go to Mika Pocket Holster if you want to end it there. Reasons to pocket carry. I don't like to pocket carry as my primary. It's a little too slow in a response uh, if there's a shooting, uh, et cetera. This is pretty fast because faster than most because it doesn't clap, so I can just put my hand in the pocket and get it really easily. So it's faster than most. But reasons to pocket carry are your backup gun, if you're law enforcement, or a uh, someone like me who is trained by inner city cops to always carry a backup gun. Or if the backup gun becomes your only weapon uh, for non-permissive work environments. Okay? So there's a lot of reasons to carry a... Uh, to pocket carry. Um, or, you know, maybe it's a day out to the beach or something where you're pretty low risk, uh, middle of daytime, that kind of thing. But I love it as a backup option. Okay. It's very comfortable. Also, I always usually carry the two weapons, but I went to some guy's house I didn't know to watch UFC the other night. So I didn't carry my primary and only had my backup uh, pistol in offside from pocket. So, in, you know, maybe a Thanksgiving family get together, whatever. You got some of those nasty people that have been brainwashed by, um, <laughs> the media and their antis and un-American and unfreedom, and they haven't studied history at all. Well, maybe then you don't have your primary on you, but pocket carry is a good option. So there's plenty of reasons to pocket carry, Again, I don't love it as my primary, uh, but as a backup or non-permissive environment, it's the way to go. And there's a lot of reasons here that I'm really impressed, as I told you about, with Mika's pocket holsters. So if a lot of cops have been his and undercovers have been going to him for 37 years for his holsters, now that I got them, I can say... Yeah, there's reasons why. Oh, also, I'm about to go out to eat to a diner. From some pocket holsters, if you're at a diner, even if I'm carrying primary appendix or three o'clock, that's not a serendipitous, seren, is that the right word? Draw, okay? It's not a good hidden draw. You're making some monkey motions that they can see. However, under the table, I, I was more able to, I tested it last night compared to other pocket holsters, able to get these revolvers out as a hit and draw that I can then stand up and, and go to work if needed to. So um, there's a little bit a little bit better on the hit and draw while seated, probably because it keeps the nice open mouth. Whatever he does, he knows what he's doing. Um, they don't really collapse in, and that makes a difference on your seated serendipitous or hidden, I don't know if I'm using that word right, <laughs> uh, draw. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of advantages here. So for $32, probably signed, uh, one of a kind stitched for you in all kinds of different sizes, revolver, pistol, whatever. And he has other kinds of holsters with a clip or inside the waistband. He has other stuff on his website as well. And he seems like a genuinely, uh, great guy talking to him as best I can tell. And if he's been, been in business for that long, um, and has a more kind of cool clientele, special, unique, one of a kind, Mika's Pocket Holsters. Email Robert, mikaspocketholsters.com. Go to mikaspocketholsters.com. There's his phone number. Uh, tell him Dan the Wolfman sent you, and uh, I'm sure he would hook you up, guys. First rule of self defense and gunfighting is stay strapped or get clapped. Always carry something. So if you only got a 
Glock 19 or something even heavier like a 1911 or a big carry revolver. Guys, look at my five carry revolvers video. It's blowing up, please. Look at my top 10 pistol, top, top 10 lightweight pistols under 25 ounces. You actually carry video, trying to give you some good advice. Please check out those videos. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Guys, it really means makes a big deal to me uh, with the YouTube algorithm if you thumbs up. Please thumbs up. Please smash that subscription button. Only 10% of my viewers are subscribed. It helps someone out so much to subscribe and thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. And check out Mika's Pocket Holsters. Cheers.